It's 7, eh, 7 15 in the morning on Friday, September 22nd. Is that right? Yeah, I think it's the 22nd. Uh, 2023. And I'm moving the cows to the uh, third section, the first two cells, because I may not be here this evening. Uh, there's not a lot of grass to write home about in the next section. I think it's enough to get by. But uh, it's not too encouraging right now. I'm going to call the cows here, cover your earphones. Whoa! They're not coming for some reason. Maybe because there's plenty of grass there. <laughs> Whoa! Can they even hear me? Oh boy, it's gonna be one of these moves, isn't it? Well, I'll at least show you the pasture. Maybe they'll come. <coughs> so uh, we did get some rain yes yesterday, a little bit last night, but not much. And there is some grass growing in this part of the pasture, which is pretty decent. There's a thorn bush. I think that's honey locust or I don't know what you call it. Um, so there's, there's some good grass right here. This is pretty decent. I'll kind of show you what I'm looking at. And you get out of this corner though, then you start getting to some dry spots in the field which aren't very encouraging. Uh, that uh, cool season grass can't come fast enough. Oh, by the way, right now it's 75 degrees with 77% humidity. This, I believe, is Indian grass. Seventy-seven percent humidity. It's supposed to get up to 92 today and tomorrow it'll get to 95. So my hope that the hot days are over is was just a was just a hope. We still have hot days left here in September. Maybe even some in October. <laughs> so you can see the grass is getting quite a bit shorter and more spread out. And we get like spots like this where there's just not much of anything growing. It's not doing much at all. Yeah, this part of the pasture isn't really doing great. Let's go over here. And we have this big dead spot where it seems like nothing is going at all. I'm not entirely sure why this part of the pasture is just dead. But even the goat weed has a hard time living here. Well, I guess that's one way to get rid of goat weed is make your pasture um, <laughs> unviable for anything, you know. Let's head down this way. See, the grass is pretty thick here. It's pretty nice. Ooh, looks good. Old patties. That's some kind of plant. I don't know what it is. It's been stripped bare of leaves. Something likes the leaves on those plants. It's kind of like a green carpet here. Not very thick. Not much here. This is normally a pretty good spot in my pasture, right in front of this gate. But it's not doing so well right now. Normally I get thick and tall grass right here. And the ants have cleared out an entire area. <clears throat> well, moving right along. Oh, the cows are coming just slowly. Whoa! I'll head over to where they can cross the wire. Uh, this is kind of the, the chicken area, but really it's kind of a miniature woods. And the cows like to hang out under the trees here when it's hot. But there's just not anything growing here. In the spring, we got tons and tons of grass here. 
But in the summer, we didn't get anything. And I thought perhaps the chickens were like killing the grass. But what I think it is, is just there's not a lot of summer grass here to begin with. There's chickens for you. They think I have, oh, I did have snacks. I need to go get the snacks. On my side by sides all the way over there. I'll go get it. Maybe I'll leave the cows at the same time. So the cows are wondering, like, you're calling me, but I don't see where I can cross the wire. Here's the grass is decent. Might even say it's pretty good. We got some grass growing in between this goat weed here. Thick goat weed. Whew. Dense, I guess you could say dense. Alright. See here the grass is doing well even without much goat weed. It's a different kind of grass here than Bermuda. It seems it's doing well. Yeah. The cows were like, we want to follow you, but uh, you're not making much sense, Mr. Farmer Man. Over here, there's a bunch of these uh, thorny bushes, berry bushes. It's kind of like blackberry or raspberry or something, but, you know, honestly, uh, it's nothing like what I'm used to in the Pacific Northwest. Let me grab the bucket here. All right, come on, cows. Whoa! I'll show them the way. Follow the funny man in the weird hat. I have a plan. If uh, a section doesn't have much grass, I'm just going to graze it for maybe a day. Just put the cows in there for a day and then move them to the next section. <coughs> and uh, that's not going to give enough time to start another rotation once I finish moving through all the sections. So I'll have to put them somewhere for a while until I'm ready to do another rotation. Whoa! No, they just want the side-by-side. -side. Let me drive the side-by-side. -side. They'll follow that. <laughs> oh, no, they're coming. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. I'll just go down here. If they follow me, they follow me. If they don't, I'll give them the side-by-side. The water, by the way, is just right here at the northern corner of this field. Whoa! They're quiet. They're not answering. Normally they answer me. This part of the field's pretty good. Again, it's not really that great, but it's not bad. the chickens. I'm going to feed them kitchen scraps. Bonk. Now they're talking. There's your chickens, kitchen scraps. Looks like a lot of spinach today. That's high in iron. You guys gotta eat your veggies. All 
Apparently this rooster is pretty old. I, I didn't know that, but I think one of the commentators said the rooster is over 17 years old. Like that's an old bird. <clears throat> so hopefully this will be a good retirement for him. Oh man, those spurs on his legs are huge. Anyway, all right, let's go get the cows going. They're not coming. They're hanging out by the side by side. One more round. I'll get them eventually. The last time I moved to a new section was super easy. This time it's not so much. This time I'm walking around in circles, swimming through the goat weed. It's 75 degrees with 77% humidity. I'm not complaining. Yes, I am. We're, we're at the tail end of, of September, and it's still hot, <laughs> you know? Uh, they sent out an email, the drop monitor, and they said that we are still in D2, severe drought. It does look like it should improve, but we've been in D2 for quite a while. You know, the thing about droughts is you don't know you're in one until it's too late. So, all right, I'm going to drive the side by side. I'm going to bring the cows for being silly today. They're all here by the side by side. Watch out there, yellow. All right, 19. They're not following me, but I think yellow is. We look back again. Yeah, they're following. Yellow's coming. She's coming really slow. Doggies. Hi, doggies. Watch out, don't get run over. They won't get run over. Alright, I'll just put the side by side here inside the new field where I want them. Let me dump the water and move the trough. coming now. This is not level. That's better. First cow in. Room, 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 room. Red's looking pretty round. Got a few flies on her. She's in pretty good condition. She's in really good condition, actually. Blue's doing pretty good, too. Huh. She's got a scratch. There's a big horse flying that cow. Hey, 24. There's a lot of flies. 
shoe fly. I want to keep this bowl too. This bowl's a beautiful bowl. Come on. The ram who thought he was a cow. <laughs> he doing you scaring the cows? Where's oh there's black that is Blackie's no is that Blackie or Blackie's calf? I think there's a cow down there at the very end. Oh man. I'll have to bring him in, bring her in. It's probably Blackie. Blackie's always at the end. So You got it? Uh, 413. I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> 21. Cows, they suction it up, it looks like. They get a mouthful and they swallow. Not like dogs. Dogs lap it up. <laughs> That's Blackie's calf. There's Blackie. I think there's something else. Down. Yeah, there's another cow down there. Whoa! Let me look at the camera so you can kind of see. So along the fence line, there's like a cow down there. All the way down there. All right. You guys have a great day. Hopefully the weather's not 92 degrees or 95. Hopefully we're getting some rain by the time you see this. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.